Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. The popular Hallmark Christmas film Holiday Touchdown, a chief's love story has become the talk of the town. Hunter King, Tyler Hines, and Ed Begley Jr. feature in this, the network's first NFL partnership. In this film, Donna Kels, Travis Kels's mother, plays a part. Furthermore, Jenna Bush Hager also does. The chief's home field of Kansas City, where the network is based, serves as the backdrop for this film. Additionally, many locals were used in this film for crowd scenes and other roles, but one of those bonuses revealed something that hasn't been publicized very much. They disclosed that the Feel Good Network was searching for Elvis-haired extras. What else did they disclose? There has been a lot of hype surrounding the upcoming Hallmark Christmas film Holiday Touchdown, a chief's love story. This is because Travis Kelce's mother Donna, who stars in it, is the subject of so much media attention. Many people also wonder if Taylor Swift will make a brief cameo. But what one extra disclosed is one of the biggest surprises. Yahoo Canada shared a story from the Kansas City Star stating that an extra was questioned over the encounter. They talked with Alex Gold, who co-hosts the morning show on Cody and Gold on KCSP. Gold was included in the film's supplementary cast. He signed a non-disclosure agreement, despite his admission that you might see the back of my head for five seconds. Consequently, the radio host was unable to there was nothing to spoil anyway, he added. But he might have mentioned something intriguing that reveals hints about this plot. They required people with longer hair, Alex revealed. Think Grease, Beatles, or Elvis look, he went on. What might this signify? Maybe the movie summary may provide any insight. Why would extras with Elvis or Beatles hair be needed for the upcoming Hallmark Christmas film, Holiday Touchdown, a chief's love story? Does the synopsis provide any clues? The subject of this film is Chief's superfan Alana Higman. Her family is one of the three nominees for the Fan of the Year award from the team. Derek, the team's director of fan engagement, is there to assist them in determining the winner. Derek and Alana discover love for one another. However, Alana's faith in fate and good fortune is called into question when her grandfather's antique Chief's hat disappears. Could this old hat have been from the Chiefs' 1970 Super Bowl victory against the Vikings? Is this a flashback scenario they're doing because of the longer hair? Is this the scene where her grandfather watched the team play while donning the hat? Is that even possible? Don't you believe that Hallmark required extras with Elvis hair? Tell us, Hallmark enthusiasts. Please give your best estimate. When Holiday Touchdown a Chief's love story airs on Hallmark around a week before Thanksgiving. Viewers will discover why.